Hello, avid royal watchers, and welcome back to the channel. In today's news, Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, might be living a brand new life well away from the judgment and rules of the royal family, but it seems likely that she will never be able to escape the influence entirely. Many are still fascinated with the period of time that Meghan spent within the royal ranks, and would love to know more about why she had such a hard time, why she seemed to run through staff members so quickly, and what palace staff really thought about the Duchess of Sussex. Fortunately for some fans, a brand new book is being released in a few weeks, one that promises some truly explosive information. Meghan Markle's difficult entry into the royal family Meghan and Prince Harry started dating in 2016 and announced their engagement in late 2017. While Prince Harry and Meghan were undoubtedly over the moon with excitement, the feeling from the British tabloids and even members of the public was less than enthusiastic. The fact that Meghan is American was one strike against her, as was her profession. An actress was seen by many as an unsuitable match for Prince Harry and had always been a beloved member of the royal family. Meghan endured a lot of negative press in the days following her engagement. Some press coverage crossed the line and many accused British tabloids of deliberately inc inciting racist dialogue. Sadly, it didn't get better, and even after Meghan and Prince Harry tied the knot in May 2018, the two continued waging war against the press. As for Meghan, it seems as though she was waging a different war, one that involved her shaky public image. Why was Meghan so disliked? Not long after her marriage to Prince Harry, Meghan was already considered to be one of the least liked women in the royal family. While some of that could absolutely be attributed to racism or what, what other baseless prejudice, it was clear that there was some disconnect between Meghan and those in her inner and outer circles. Celebrity journalists like Piers Morgan spoke out against Meghan, accusing her of being a social climber and of being a hypocrite. Certainly, when she attended a lavish baby shower in New York City, it seemed a bit against the grain of the member of the British royal family. Her quest for privacy also rubbed many the wrong way, considering that being a member of the British royal family is a public-facing position. Ultimately, it seems as though people dislike Meghan for a wide variety of reasons. Meghan Markle's unfortunate nicknames Meghan, according to many reports, made no friends within the royal family, especially when it comes to members of palace staff. For months, rumours have circulated that the Duchess of Sussex was given a cruel nicknames by the staff, perhaps in response to what she was termed for her demanding nature. A few of these nicknames include Duchess Difficult and Me Game. The reports were confounded by the fact that Markle couldn't seem to keep an assistant on hand for longer than a couple of months before the assistant would quit. Meghan Markle's other cruel nicknames reference Princess Diana. Still, the nicknames might have been worse than previously thought. According to recent reports citing some former royal staffers who went on rec record in the upcoming Tell All book, Meghan was often compared to the late Princess Diana in a very unflattering way. Supposedly, Meghan's nickname included Die Too and Die Light, which could reference the fact that she seemed to share Diana's passion for charity work and philanthropy, but lacked the affection the public had for Diana. At the time of the engagement in 2017, Prince Harry said in a BBC interview that his mother and Meghan would have been thick as thieves and that Diana would have been over the moon over the choice to marry Meghan. Prince Harry has even drawn parallels to how his mother was treated to how his wife has been treated. The Duke of Sussex said that the ruthless campaign against Meghan is history repeating itself, alluding to his mother. I lost my mother, and now I watch my wife falling victim to the same powerful forces, said Harry in a powerful statement defending the Duchess of Sussex. Although the pressures of facing intense dislike on a daily basis was clearly too much for Meghan, in January 2020 she and Prince Harry announced their resignation as senior members of the royal family. That is all for today's news, thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next video.